Hello creators, welcome back to Create, Share and Give. I am Maya Marie and thank you so much for stopping by. If you are new to the family, hello. If you are new and like what you see, click like and subscribe. Now today I wanted to talk to you guys about soul loss. Now what is soul loss? Soul loss is when you endure a traumatic experience. And that traumatic experience can be a huge event, the sudden loss of a loved one, um, a traumatic incident, maybe you've seen something or witnessed something where it came as a complete shock. But it can also happen with small accumulated tragedies or things that may not seem so bad, but they accumulate. And it is said that certain parts of the soul exit the body in order to keep the body alive. And I've witnessed that. I had a trauma happen many, many years ago, and I thought that that trauma was done with, but it was not because when it came back up, it came full-fledged as if I was reliving that moment again. And I thought that I had put that behind me. But then I realized that I had to. I had to leave that part because if I didn't, I wouldn't have been able to survive what I needed to survive to continue on living. And that's why when some people go through things like incest or rape and they come out 10, 20, 30 years later, that can be a cause because that person has had to block that out of their lives for them to sanely continue on with life. How do you heal that soul loss? Well, one of the ways is you can go through that moment, you can say a little meditation and go back into that moment where that incident happened. Or if that's too traumatic for you, you may need counseling, maybe don't go too deep in it, go around the time you think the incident happened, a general time, and go back and make amends if you can, any way you can through forgiveness, all that part of you back. All the lessons you've learned since that time, use that as if your higher self is talking to you, whether it's your inner child or just that higher self talking with experience because once you've moved through something, you can look at it through a different set of eyes than you did when you were first going through it because you have lived, you have matured, and you have experienced different things in life and help you go back and give that wisdom and ask for that soul presence back. Ask for that part of yourself. You've also probably seen that when something happens and then you've heard people say, well, they've never been the same since then. Well, they haven't been the same since. And we hear that a lot with Ye. His erratic behavior, people will always say he had not been the same since his mother passed. I'm not sure if that's his case or not, but I'm just giving you an example on maybe someone in your life or within yourself that you realize they were never the same after an incident. That's why I never try to judge anyone that I see walking on the street because you don't know what they've been through. They could have been through something so traumatic and it shifted their mindset and they have never been able to be the same conscious being they were before the incident. So it's very important because we can keep all of that trapped into our bodies and that's not good. We have to release that and heal from it so that you can really be clear. So whether that is forgiveness, whether that is acknowledging that that's part of your path and that has made you who you are today, without that you wouldn't be the beautiful human being that you are. So you can start with the meditation and call that part of your soul back. You can journal and talk to yourself and guide yourself through that moment in your present state. I pulled this card, Soul Loss, and this prompted me to do a video on it because I think it's something that 
needs to be discussed. And until we meet again, take care.